Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, look at that good boy driving! <laughs> He's not even looking at you. I don't care. <gasps> Hello! He's so cute. Mom, <laughs> can we have him? Look at him! Oh, he belongs to somebody else. <laughs> I love him so much. Goodbye, doggo. See you later. I love you. Welcome to my first ever reading vlog. Now that exams are over, I have all the time in the world, if I'm not working, because I'm working a lot, but I have all the time in the world, so I put out a poll and asked you guys if you wanted me to do weekly reading vlogs like everybody and their mother on booktube is doing because I've wanted to do them for a while but like no time and no reading has been done. Don't like mind this whole situation going on because I just came back from a run. It's Monday morning and I haven't been running since January because I've been so busy with school and it's been like freezing and gross in Canada but this is the first nice day in Canada where it's like not negative a million degrees out so I decided I would go for a run and it uh did not go very well. I ran 2.5 kilometers in 13 minutes, which it usually takes me like 10 minutes, so like was not fun. But hopefully if I get back into it, we're going to get back to our 10 minute mark. So I'm going to go shower and then I'm actually going to get to do some reading because this is the first day I've been off since exams have been over, which was back on April 26th and it's April 30th now. So finally don't have work until 5.45 today. So got to do what I wanted to do, which means reading, which means I'm currently reading The Outcast by Taran Mathrew. It's the prequel to the Summoner trilogy and I'm only like 70 pages in right now, but it's actually so good. Like I loved the first book, which is The Novice. I love the second book, The Inquisition, and like I was kind of iffy about the third book, which is The Battle Mage, but this one is up there with the first two books in the series, so I'm super excited to finish it. I'm gonna have a full review of it up on May 4th on my channel, so stay tuned for that. I think this is gonna go up after the review is already up, so there'll be a cardy card thing that y'all can check it out, but I'm gonna go shower because I'm gross. Okay, bye! Okay, so I just got the most exciting package in the mail. You guys know that my favorite series is the Vinyl Trilogy. The third book, Siren, is coming out May 1st, so by the time you guys see this video, it's out, so you guys should go buy it. But I officially have a copy of it, and oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to find out how the story ends. This is my favorite trilogy and it's ending and I don't know what to do. It's a dystopian novel where music is used as a weapon and it's just so good. The first book is vinyl, the second book's radio, and now Siren and just please go buy it. I'm gonna go read this because I'm freaking out man. Oh, I'm so excited but I have to finish The Outcast before I can read this one. Hello! It's now Tuesday. And I <laughs> did pretty much no reading yesterday. I went out for ramen with Ricardo, so you know, priority. And then I also had work at 4.45 until 7.45 and came home and I read like a chapter or two of The Outcast. But today, I have literally nothing going on. So my plan is to go for my run and then maybe tan a little bit and then I can listen to an audiobook which I'm listening to Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I'm like 200 pages into it so far and I'm like loving it but then I'm also going to read The Outcast and hopefully finish a good chunk of that because I need to have a review up by Friday so that's the plan for today. My mom and dad are both at work so like no distractions we're good. But knowing me I'll probably still get distracted by something but I will keep you guys updated as the day goes on. It's still Tuesday and um, I have not moved from this spot since I came back from my run, which went a lot better than yesterday. I ran 2.75 in 14 minutes. So we get in better as the days go by, even though it's been two days and like how dare I not be skinny yet. I've read a lot today. I read a bunch of our dark duet when I was tanning. I am on page 300 now. I would like to say I still love August, but he's really pissing me off, like pretending, I'm saying he's pretending that he's like the almighty soldier, like bruh. Get back to your self-awareness. I want to be human because I liked you a lot better then. And Kate is still a badass, so I still really like her.
I've kind of been switching between Our Dark Duet and The Outcast by Turan Matharu because I need to get this done by Friday. But your girl just doesn't want to hold books because I'm lazy AF. But I'm about 150 pages into this now and I'm honestly loving it. So I'm excited to finish it if I can stop being so lazy and actually hold a book. I'm going to Ricardo's house for dinner so no reading is going to get done for the rest of the night so. Hello! It's now Wednesday and I'm about to go pick up my little cousin Eliason for sushi lunch because I haven't seen her since Christmas so I was like I'm done school now so we going out girl. It's around 11 o'clock right now so we haven't actually done any reading this morning because food is more important right now but I will update you when I get home on how much reading I get done, if any, but I'm home all day after lunch. So, reading should be done. We'll see though. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm the worst booktuber ever. Apparently I just don't read. Eliason doesn't know how to uh, use chopsticks. <laughs> Stop it. I need to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> update, update. It is now 3 o'clock on Wednesday. I just filmed an unhaul video, which will be up like in a million years because your girl never uploads on time. Anyways, update. Um, lunch was delicious and I just got home, filmed that video, and then I read a little bit more. I am... Let me get my book. I am about 240 pages out of like 300 and something of The Outcast. Probably gonna finish it today. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. But I'm absolutely loving it. It's really entertaining and really hard to put down because I wanna know what happens to Articus. And his demon is named Sakarissa and I love her. She's like this little dog. She's on the cover. You see her? You see her? She's like a dog with four eyes and I just love her. She's so cute and protective and it's just, oh, I love her. Almost done that. And then I also was tanning again today because <laughs> I'm lazy and that's what I do with my days. I read more of Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab and I'm about 300 pages out of like 500. So like more than halfway. Also, I'm really enjoying this one. I'm listening to it on audiobook because I always have an audiobook going and and a like reading book like I don't know I like it but I don't know how I feel about August anymore because I really really liked him in the first book because he was like so self-aware and just like he was just a little cinnamon roll and I wanted to protect him at all costs but now he's like this soldier I just I don't know just something about him right now is really bothering me and I want him to turn back into the little cinnamon roll but he's not being a little cinnamon roll he's being a soldier and it's annoying I have a side note question does anybody else's beds look like this <laughs> Like, am I the only one who just has stacks and stacks of books beside me at all times? Like, I literally sleep with my books. Just me? i curious. Let me know. I just finished The Outcast by Turan Matharu. I think I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 stars. I did really like it, but it wasn't like a 5 out of 5 star book for me. You could read it as a standalone if you really wanted to. Like, you could definitely read it without having read the Summoner trilogy and still understand everything because it's the prequel. I'm gonna have a full review of it up on my channel on May 4th, so by the time you see this video, my review will be up. So if you want to see my full thoughts, then check out my review, okay? Okay. Now, the best part of being done The Outcast is that I finally get to start Siren by Sophia Lane Hansen, which is the final book in the final trilogy. So I am way too excited to read this. So I'm going to go do that now and I'll update you tomorrow probably because it's eight o'clock at night and I'm just going to try to read as much as this is possible. Okay, the most exciting thing just happened to me. I was flipping through Siren to see how many pages there were and I went to the acknowledgements and guys, oh. my freaking name is in the acknowledgments. That's my name. Do you see that? That that is my name. It's in the book. Oh my god, I can't. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. Good morning. It's now Thursday at eight o'clock in the morning. I need to film the outcast review video so I can put it up for tomorrow. And then I was gonna go for a run and tan, but it's disgusting outside, so that's not happening. But then that means no distractions to read. Siren by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I stayed up 
way too late last night because something huge happened. I'm only like 80 pages in, but my heart has already been like ripped out and stuffed back in and then ripped out and stomped on again like 50 times already, but I'm absolutely loving this book. Like seriously guys, if you haven't read the vinyl trilogy, like I highly recommend it. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite trilogy and like so underrated. Like please read it. That's all I'm gonna say. Hello, it's now 4.20 p.m on Thursday and I had every intention of getting so much reading done today <laughs> and then Ricardo showed up and was like yo you want Thai food and I was like fuck yeah I want Thai food so I went to go Thai food and then I came home and I um promptly fell asleep so <laughs> it's now 420 like I said and I have read pretty much nothing today. I listened to a little bit more of our dark duet So I'm now 380 pages out of like 500 and something. So we're almost done Probably won't get done until Sunday Maybe I work tomorrow Saturday and Sunday so we don't know how much reading is actually gonna get done then But I also am on page 140 of siren. I am bitter and that's all I'm gonna say because you guys should all read this so you know why I'm bitter. Sophia knows why I'm bitter and I am shaking my head at you, girl. Shaking my head. But I'm gonna go read more of this so that hopefully I'm halfway through by the next update. We'll see how this goes. Hello, it's now Friday and it's seven in the morning. I just got home from driving my faja to the train station so that I can have the car today so that I can go to work at 8.30. But I figured I would update you before I go back inside because my mom's still sleeping. So we don't wanna wake her up. I read up to page 190 yesterday of Siren and it's so freaking good. Like shit's about to go down and I'm so excited to get to read it today. I also forgot to mention that I'm actually reading another book. It's Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. I'm almost done it and I freaking hate Gavin so much. If you guys have read Bad Romance, like you know what I'm talking about, he's a piece of shit and I just want to like shake Grace and be like, girl, girl, get out, run, flee, run away forever. Oh my god, I can't. It's about an abusive relationship if you don't know, but like the book's been around forever, so a lot of people already know that, but it's basically this girl trying to escape her abusive relationship, and I just cannot with Gavin, who's the boyfriend. He's just, a, oh, I could go on rants about that boy. I'll update you guys again after I'm done work and pick up my dad after he's done work, so talk to you later. So it's not really showing up on camera. Well, I guess it kind of is, but the wind is insane. Like those signs that are like shaking out there are like concrete to the floor and the road and like they're just shaking like crazy like how am I not dead that's my question and, like I don't know if you can tell from the video but the car is literally shaking right now so like still confused how I'm alive but um you know how's your day going so it's now like 5 40 ish and I'm waiting for my dad at the train station it's like ridiculously windy outside so I don't even know how I survived that car ride because the car was just blowing everywhere so like bless the gods of the universe for protecting little old me on that ride because I thought I was gonna die my life flashed before my eyes 20 million times but I figured I would update you while I wait for my faja I'm like 20 pages until the end of siren and I like don't want to read it because I don't want it to end because like this is my favorite trilogy and after this, like, there's no more to it. There's, It's just done. And, like, it's incredible. It's such a good series, but I just don't want it to be over. So I'm, like, taking my sweet-ass time with it. But it will be done tonight because, like, I need to know what happens and how it finishes. Seriously, guys, if you haven't read the vinyl trilogy, like, it's available for, like, $6.99 or something like that. All three books in, like, Kindle format. So, like, go to Amazon and go buy it right now because, like, it's 100% worth it. I've, like, made everybody... I know read it and there's like this weird line from the sun glare it's really annoying but it's like a mustache for me hello wow I get distracted easily but yeah that's my update um that's all I did at work today because there was like nobody in so I literally just read the entire time so I got like 200 pages down so 20 pages left and um I'm really upset about it and that's that's about it
Well, my dad's train is super late because of the wind. Apparently it's like blowing it all over the place so they have to go slower than usual. So I had a lot of time to read the book on my phone and I ended up finishing it and it's Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I really liked it. It took a while for me to get into it. Like honestly I've been reading this book since like last year because it's just been on my phone and it's like if I have free time while I'm like traveling somewhere I like pull it up and read like a chapter at a time. I forgot about it for a while so it's been like a year since I've read it. It was really good once it got going like I could not stop reading it. Like I don't want to say it's entertaining because like it's about an abusive relationship but I think that it was written really well like it's written kind of like a letter to the abuser. The ending was really good I really liked it. And then the author's note says that it's based off of a true story and how like she overcame her abusive relationship and I just thought it was really well done. I almost cried at it and I never cry at books so like it hit deep man, it hit deep. I just want you all to know that my mother is abusive <laughs> and she keeps calling me a shithead. You back have up. to say for yourself. Back up, back up. What do you have to what? say for what yourself? What did you just call me? A poopy liar head. Exactly. Because and all I did is call you what? A shithead. Exactly. I think That's we're worse. Even. Why is that worse? Because you actually did lie. Why did I lie? Because you said, I was waiting for you to finish your review, which is a lie because you watched me go pee. Well, I didn't watch you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go donate books and then buy food, right mom? I have found my perfect hat. It has pineapples, oh you can't see it. I don't, are you seeing it? Are you seeing the pineapples? Yeah. Yeah, the pineapples. Can you explain the pineapple? A pineapple is what you say when a boy is being a bad boy. It's the code word. And you, you want out of it's that a, situation. It's a come rescue me mom. You text pineapple and then she comes and rescues you. I finished Siren. And I have so many emotions and I don't know how to feel and I'm so sad that it's over but it was so good like five out of five stars 100% I can't I'm like just texting Sophia right now and being like you broke me and I hate you but like my heart <laughs> guys please read this trilogy it's so good and I'm forcing my mom to read it because like I need to vent to somebody about my feelings I'm so sad, but it was so good. It was honestly just like such a perfect ending to the series, but so many emotions. And I don't know what I'm supposed to feel right now. Like I'm so happy, but I'm also so sad. And I just, I'm just gonna go to bed now and feel sorry for my aching heart. Goodbye. Hello, it's now Saturday at 5 p.m. I just got home from work and I did a little bit of reading at work. I had to teach a class of exploring sports with three to five year olds. That's always a good time because they literally cannot do anything. They have no coordination. So it's really entertaining. Like they don't even understand how to play tag. It's just, they run in circles a lot. And then catching a ball is just like, it's not a thing. So it's interesting. I started Screams You Hear by James Morris. And it's like a horror novel about this girl who lives on the very recluse island and then a virus breaks out and a bunch of shit goes down. I'm only 150 pages in, but like, I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, it's really addictive and you wanna know what happens next. It's really entertaining. Hello, it's Sunday, May 6th, 2018, the last day of this weekly reading vlog. And last night I did not read. I went out to dinner with my mom. We went to Montana's. It was delicious. I had fajitas and I just love fajitas. So it was a good time. Today I work from 8.45 until 4.15. So I'm gonna get a lot of reading done today, probably at work because I just have one class that I need to teach, which is exploring science with three to five year olds. How do you teach a three to five year old science? But we're playing with water today and seeing what sinks and what floats, how exciting. So I just finished work and I figured I would update y'all on what I did because I read a heck of a lot. So I finished Screams You Hear by James Morris and holy shit you guys, it was so good. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. I'm giving it a 4.5. Like, holy crap. You guys need to read this book. Like, mm, the ending, like, 
my mind just what I did not see it coming and just like this would make such a sick movie I'm just saying so like producers like if you want a book to make into a movie this is the one and then I also finished two graphic novels so I finished all summer long by Hope Larson which I think I'm gonna give a three out of five stars like it was cute and it's about a 13 year old whose best friend goes off to soccer camp during the summer. So she starts hanging out with his older sister and then they like bond and then she like discovers herself and blah, blah, blah. But it was cute. And then I also finished Be Prepared by Vera Brozgal. And it's about this little Russian girl who goes off to summer camp and it was cute again, but like again, nothing super special so probably a three out of five i have this like super awesome story to tell you guys i'm like dead so last night i told you guys i went to montana's for dinner with my mom and our waiter was like this amazing sassy guy and i was like oh my god i need him to be my best friend i left my phone number on the placemat because it's like one of those restaurants where you can like write on the placemat and it's like all the for the little kids you know so I left my phone number and was like be my best friend and all last night I was like he's not gonna text me he's not gonna text me whatever we're not gonna be friends like I'm heartbroken but like whatever it's fine I'll see him again maybe probably not but I just got off my shift at work and there's no like service in my building like you can't text at all it just doesn't work and so I got a text from him and he's like hey BFF and I was like oh so now like we're gonna be best friends and I'm actually so excited because he was so sassy and like me so I'm so excited for this friendship to blossom into something like it probably won't like we'll probably text for like two days and like be done but like oh, I might have a new best friend so I am so happy right now okay I'm gonna go drive home now and text my BFF hello or I guess kind of goodbye because I'm ending the vlog now it's now 10 30 at night on Sunday night and I just got home from eating sushi with Ricardo and his work friends, but I'm filming this in the car so that I don't wake anybody up when I go inside. Let me know down below if y'all want more of these. I don't even know if I did it properly. Like, your girl does not know what she's doing. And I read a lot this week. I read seven entire books. I mean, two of them were graphic novels, but that's totally fine. We're counting it as seven books. Like, I'm feeling very powerful on top of the world. Let me know down below, like I said, if you want more of these or if it's just like a heck no, Jay. Like, you don't know what the fuck you're doing because, like, accurate. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.